Hello, and welcome back to Vice City last episode. We completed the, what was it, the uh, dirt bike race mission, and uh, we also did a mission for the Malibu Club, if I remember correctly. I can't actually remember what that mission was. Um, maybe it had something to do with the shooting range, or was that the episode before? Who would know? I don't remember. Go watch it if you can't remember either, because I am of no use to you there. We also got this car for completing the showroom board number three, and I'm going to go over the mission right now. I'll see you there. That uh, was the, uh, the phone call. Um, fighting outside the ice cream factory, I remember now. See you then. Okay, here we are finally at the Malibu Club. That took a little while, but we are here, finally. And, ah uh, yes, the patrons dancing their asses off at 11 in the morning. This is all good, just push my way through the massive crowd. And, uh, how you doing mate? Yes, all good chaps. Those two still going at it, I see. Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service, but he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What'd he say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues. Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You, Tommy? Oh. Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. Alright, does that make the slightest bit of sense? No, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> if I could drive better than you can, then I might as well do it myself, shouldn't I? But anyway, that doesn't matter. It's all for purposes of the mission, isn't it? And unfortunately, this is one of the uh, most notorious missions in the game. He just got turned around there, lucky for me. Uh, this is one of the most notorious hard missions in the game uh, because basically we're stuck in a regular sedan and uh, he's got some sort of epic sports car so it doesn't seem fair at all and it seems pretty much rigged in his favour to win but uh, it is possible for us to get to the finish line first uh, and just to make it that little bit more difficult they have also given us a two star wanted level and there are some uh, scripted uh, collisions coming up here uh, around some of these corners where police are just hiding out and shit I've taken a wrong turn and there he goes Hillary just blasting past me as if I were a passerby or something he is just burning the track as if no one has ever um, uh, uh, sucked him off but uh, that is lucky for <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this uh, I'm just gonna stop um, so we just got to try and catch up. That's one of those collisions I was talking about. So we pretty much have no choice now but to fail the mission because we have no way of coming back from this point. So we just need to uh, drive up this hill here and yeah, see he's long gone. We have no chance of catching up now. And, and that brings me to a point. I wish Vice City were a little more like on the hilly side. It's so flat. And I don't know if Miami is really flat or what, but it doesn't matter. Like, just some hills would be nice. That's um, that's why San uh, San Jose, no, what was it in uh, San Andreas? Uh, San Francisco, San Fran Fierro, that's the one. That is what I'm trying to think of. Damn these cops. We've failed the mission. Let's restart it, shall we? Alright, again, 3, 2, 1, go. We're going to win this time. 
and uh, our car is white, which is, uh, well, it, it's stylish and everything, but we know red goes faster, so the only real way we uh, we can possibly beat Hillary here is in a red car, so I'm afraid we've probably already lost. So, uh, let's just fast forward this and uh, try it again next time. So again, it doesn't look like we have really any chance winning this race unless we can take a shortcut through the bushes, but I reckon, <laughs> since I missed the turn, uh, we'll have to remember that for next time. So we'll reload this and do it another go. So I'm going to beat you this time, you fat uh, pumper knuckle whack-a-mole fucker. I do not know what I'm talking about, but some people like to uh, cheese this mission by parking cars in front of Hillary at the starting line so that he drives straight into them and it sort of confuses his AI a bit. But I am about to show you here that it is completely unnecessary. You just gotta practice a little bit. So it's all about really memorizing the track so you can take the turns uh, more quickly and also remembering when the police cars pop out from the corners so that you can you can, uh, you know, anticipate when they're going to come out and dodge them appropriately. So I will just get to the end here. I reckon we're doing pretty well at the moment, so long as I don't hit any more poles or take any more wrong turns or get hit by any more police cars, I think we should be doing all right. So I'll fast forward this one and we'll see how we do at the end. Alright, we should be in the box seat now. We are still first, and there's only three checkpoints to go, and we can take a shortcut through the bushes. Shit! No! Not now! That's alright, we seem to have spun around into the correct position to be driving a car, so we should have won! Yes! Okay, I'll drive for you, but please treat me bad. Whatever weirdo, that is your mission done. So, this will probably be a very short video. So, let's do something new. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, she was just uh, annoying me with her stupid face. I'll see you at the next side mission. And here we are. We are familiar with this territory at this point. I reckon this is the stadium. And we will be entering the blood ring, which sounds pretty gross, actually. So what do you know, it's another checkpoint mission, but don't make that face, this one is a bit unique in that we basically need to reach the target time, it's, I don't know why they do it this way, it's a little, I don't know, weird, but uh, it's not too boring actually, uh, which is a welcome change of pace for this game. So. Basically, there's a thousand cars dropped into this bowl here, and we've got to try and drive through all the checkpoints without blowing up, which isn't really the hard part. The hard part is uh, keeping your timer at a suitable, um, you know, point without failing. I think we fail if it drops to zero. Uh, I wasn't reading the text at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but really, this is just a uh, <laughs> this is just an exercise in frustration more than anything else, because uh, this is pretty annoying. I'll tell you when you're trying to drive to the checkpoint and you keep getting bumped, because I don't know if it's the texture uh, of the bowl itself, whether it's uh, got no friction on the tires or anything, or whether it's the car just handles really badly but it is not the easiest thing to do, but we're about to win, so here you go.
And we get a measly thousand dollars, which is not really worth our time, but it is worth the percentage it took to finish. So we are almost at the end now, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.